Okay, we're going to start off doing the coordinate drawings that you did by hand in person um, in AutoCAD now. So you're going to be doing the wolf, shark, and hippo. I give you instructions on here as to set up your drawings, but just for the sake of simplicity, I'm going to kind of talk you guys through it in this video. I'm only going to do the wolf, and you guys are going to do the shark and the hippo by yourselves. So you're going to open up your title block drawing. You're going to do File, Save As, and name it Wolf. So for each of these, you're going to have to create a sub AutoCAD file. Once we get done with the coordinates, you can start doing all your drawings in one AutoCAD file. It's good to reuse these ones as a template because you already have all your layers set up. So after I've saved it, I'm going to go in here and I'm going to delete my title block. Now, we need to type in the command O snap and hit Enter. Click Dynamic Input top left settings button and you need to make sure right here that absolute coordinates has been checked and hit OK. Now when you do coordinates in AutoCAD you click your line button but you don't click a start point because your start point is whatever that first coordinate is. So it's negative 5 comma negative 3. Mine is off the screen so I had to pan and kind of zoom out to get it. Also um, ortho's on so I'm going to hit F8 to turn it off. So I'm going to do negative 4 comma negative 5 negative 3 comma negative 7, negative 3 comma negative 6, negative 2 comma negative 4, negative 1 comma 0. And, and then I'm going to hit escape. So every time it's a line ends, you hit escape. Then you go back up here and click line. And then your new start point is going to be the next set of coordinates. So we're going to have negative 7 comma 1, negative 8 comma 4, negative 7 comma 6. I'm sorry, it's negative 9, comma 7, negative 8, comma 10, negative 7, comma 10, negative 5, comma 9, negative 3, comma 7, negative 2, comma 6, 0, comma 7, 2, comma 6, 3, comma 7, 5, comma 9, 7, comma 10, 8, comma 10, 9, comma 7, 8, comma 4, 7, comma 1, 3, comma 4, 0, comma 1, negative 3, comma 4, negative 7, comma 1, and then I'm going to hit escape. Ooh, something happened right here. So that happened is my points went in there incorrectly. So if at any time something like that happens, you can go back through your list by hitting that little arrow and you can see where you did your coordinates at. So we had negative 8, 4, negative 9, 7, negative 8, 10, negative 7, 10, negative 5, 9, negative 3, 7, negative 2, 6, 0, 7. There's my oopsie right there. It should have been 2, 6. So when that happens... Um, I'm going to start my line at 0, 7. I'm going to end it at the 3, 7 or the 5, 9 and see if that corrects my problem. So I'm going to delete those two lines right there. So, so I'm going to start at 0, 7 and then I'm going to go to 2, 6, 3, 7 and then that looks like that corrected my problem. Perfect. Um, I'm going to kind of finish through some of this and I'll start recording again so you guys can see. I'm going to get through here until I get to all the all these done and then we're going to go back and shade it. So remember, anytime it says line ends, you're going to hit escape and then you're going to click the line button again. Um, so let's see. So that was another one where I had an oops where it messed up, but I was able just to connect it. I'm not quite sure. What's, I think my keyboard's kind of doing some weird things today. So whenever it does that, if you, like I said, you can just go back and double check your stuff to see where it messed up. But some of these, you can kind of look at the picture and see where to connect them.
to go to the east even further down, so now I literally can't get it out. <laughs> One comma negative five, negative one comma negative five, negative two comma negative six, negative one comma negative eight. Okay, so now I've got all my lines drawn. I am gonna go ahead and do my shading. So the shaded area is the nose, the two eyes, and the two ears. To shade, you're just gonna click this button right here that says hatch, and you'll click inside of one of your spaces and then just hit escape. And then you'll just kind of repeat the process. You can, in theory, do multiple of them at a time, like I just did both eyes. Um, I tend to go through and kind of do things individually sometimes just because every now and then it gets weird if you pick multiple areas at a time. Um, let me double check what I told you to do the layers. Okay, so everything is going to be on the red drawing layer, which is going to also say walls on yours. That's fine. And then we're going to add a layer for your hatch. And so I'm going to go to layer properties and I'm going to add a layer named hatch. And it is going to be yellow. And let me close that. And then I'm gonna go ahead and put my hatches by clicking on them once. And then we go to the home tab here and you're gonna put them on the hatch layer. Now, lastly, we need to go through and add your ordinate dimensions. And so those will be on the example, but we are gonna add four different dimension points so that I know you did this correctly. So we're gonna go down here to linear and we're gonna go to ordinate. And we're going to go up, and then I'm going to right click, and I'm going to go over. And that's going to give us our X and Y. And we're going to do the same thing here. I'm going to go ahead and put them on the dimension layer. And then we're going to go in and do dim styles so we can make them the correct unit because right now they're showing us inches and we don't need inches and we also need them to be a little bit bigger. So now my dimension layer, I'm going to go dim style, modify. So our primary units, we're going to change it to decimal, but with no decimal point. And my text height, I'm going to change it, I think one. I'm going to hit close. And let me repeat my dim style. That's a little bit too big. Let's put them at 0.5. Try that. That's better. All right. Now I'm going to go ahead. Let me see if there's anything else on here that we need. Oh, you know what? I said magenta here. I'm going to change that. Let's put our hatch layer on magenta instead of yellow. There you go. I like that better. Now I'm going to go to layout one. You do not currently see my wolf on mine. I'm going to double click inside of here to activate it. And I'm going to double click my scroll wheel on my mouse to zoom them in. Um, the scale I gave you guys is three inches equals a foot. So I'm going to go over here. I'm going to change it to three inches equals a foot. And see how it still says it there? I'm going to click model to lock it. So I'm going to change the name. This is going to be Wolf. Um, today's date is the 14th. And the scale is going to say three inches 
equals one foot zero inches. Now, if I go ahead and type plot, because we made all of our page setup settings already, and hit save, everything should plot exactly how I need it. And that is how you're gonna have your wolf all set up and good to go. And you're gonna do the same process for doing the hippo and the shark.